Hi everyone, even Steven here. So I have a Hobby Lobby that's kind of in my area. It's a bit of a further trip, but I've never been there before. And I am very interested to check out to see what they have compared to my local Joann's and possibly pick up something. So I figured again, I'd take you all along with me. Um, so without any further ado, let's get to it. Here in the sticker section, they have some of these great dimensional stickers. These are really pretty. some flower embellishments. Some die cuts. These are cool. Those are pretty. Purple. Pink and the red. Oh look, little clothespins. I got the Dollar Tree. And you have them in different colors too. I think it'll be good for junk journaling once I get into it. Those are awesome. Looks like they have decorative tape, some kind of washi tape. Those are fun. Ooh, pretty big selection. Got the basic color multi packs. Next to it, charms. Or buttons, actually. These are fun. Those butterflies are pretty. You're here in their crafting tools, they have a guillotine style cutter. Awesome. $25. Big scoring board there. And then a mini one. Different pattern punchers. That's cool. It's got a lot of these. Butterfly one. Stock paper pack. That's pretty. The Paper Studio. It's a new one for me. Those are cool. these haberdashery and those are pretty sizes and those are cool I like these moody floral
basic cardstock over here, basic colors. Single sheets of 12 by 12. That's pretty. More 12 by 12s. Yep, I definitely like purple. That's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. gigantic. I feel like I'm going to get lost. We are in their yarn section. We got blanket yarn. Of course, I got to squish it. Oh, that's soft and squishy. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yarn B must be their main brand here. It's all over the place. It seems really good quality, this cottage rose. It's really soft. Beautiful, vibrant colors. So many colors. I had to get a video of these dogs. That's just too darn cute. Bunch of dogs of me is playing a video game. You see the little paws or the little bones on the controller? That's adorable. The Tim Holtz section. More ephemera on my to get list. Already got that. This is interesting. Be sport. These are really pretty. Worn wallpaper scraps. I didn't have a lot of this stuff at Joanne's. I definitely want to get the transparent butterflies at some point. Prices for their Distress Oxide ink is less than Joanne's. Back here in the cardstock paper section again. I ordered one of these 12 by 12 packets. They're holding it at the register, so let's head on out and check out. Okay, got my paper card pack ready to head on home. I'm really looking forward to using this. Isn't that beautiful? It's only $10.99. The papers aren't super thick and you get 80 of them. So I thought not a bad deal. It's really pretty. Time to head home. Okay, so back home. And yeah, this is what I picked up. Kirby Teasdale Studio. 80 sheets, 20 designs, four each, 12 by 12. They're thinner papers, it's not cardstock. Um, but that's okay for 10.99, 80 sheets. I'm pretty happy, and I just love the designs, at least on the outside. So let's check out the inside. So that is just gorgeous. Those butterflies and the flowers. And I love the flowers in the background there, and the butterfly, and then up in the corner. And you get four of those. 
Then the pink background with vintage chairs. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at all those butterflies, all the purple, green flowers, lavender, white. Oh, yeah, I really like that one. And then some forks, knives, and spoons. With that design in the background, kind of greenish color. I like that vintage. These are going to go great in a collage, too. Or making a card, obviously. Oh, that's pretty. Rose design. Some writing and faded in the background. These are really ornate. Um, that kind of distressed look. A little bit of plaid. With that pattern in the background. That's pretty. I like the colors. The green and the red. That is gorgeous. Look at that, kind of a lace doily in the center and a smaller one up there. And then a measuring tape on the side and then all of this ephemera in the foreground. That's beautiful. And a bird. Oh, that's pretty. Some vertical rose detailing with some stripes, some pink stripes. just looks like a chalkboard writing on a chalkboard that's kind of cool it's kind of darkened on the edges oh another pretty mishmash here I love the bicycle kind of collage look of this one the bike in the picture and the flowers in the foreground here. I love the colors. This is certainly my aesthetic I am finding. Oh, that's pretty too. Wow, look at that. Those flowers on the side, then kind of the faded background there. And I really love this design here on this side. And then the writing. Wow, oh, these are beautiful. Wondering how I can collage with a whole one of these because they're so thin. It's thin paper. I guess I could glue this to some 12 by 12 cardstock and it'll be a thicker collage like my first one. And that's kind of cool. Just some old newsprint, vintage newsprint. Some ladies. Oh, pretty, vibrant green design. Some lace and some edging there. That's pretty. More ephemera and a bird. Standing between some flowers there and a lady there. And a corset, Teasdale Studio. That's cool. I like that, and I like this uh, edging along the border. Got some pink of that design. That's pretty. Pinks and greens. That's beautiful. Kind of bluish tint to the background and then all the roses all the flowers that's beautiful oh another beautiful pink one oh that's cute all these little flowers in the foreground here and i love this border detail up here and then the vintage style mannequin whatever that's called i have no idea what that's actually called and a hat or a Le Chapeau. It's another beautiful one. Oh, butterflies. 
I was promised butterflies, and here's a bunch of butterflies. Really like that one with the background, kind of bright background, and all these vibrant butterflies in the foreground. Look at all these colors, purple, yellow, orangish red, blue. Oh, wow. This is really romantic. <laughs> That's beautiful, and the red flowers. The writing in the background, these are really well done. I just wish the paper was a bit thicker, but then it would have been a lot more expensive. And that's kind of cool. Interesting pattern and design. I like how it fades. And it looks like that's it. Well, thank you everybody for joining me on a trip to my local, more or less, Hobby Lobby. Um, that store was gigantic. It was like a gigantic warehouse with a bunch of craft stuff crammed into it. And it was like bursting at the seams with craft stuff. Uh, cool selection they had, and definitely uh, cheaper prices than Joanne. Regular prices, join when they have good sales going on um, and mixed with their coupons can get pretty decent prices too. But I was happy with my trip and I really like this uh, paper pad pack that I got. Hope you all have a wonderful day. If you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And if not, that's totally okay. I will see everybody in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.